the infinite source of life. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is from Warfrat off Arrowwood. When this happened, 2002, the drug used was Amanita Mascara. At a dose of 15 grams, the route administration was orally, gender, male, weight, 120 pounds. Prior experience includes magic mushrooms, and the setting is at a friend's house. So in this report, we explore another Amanita experience that provides a universal type of experience. What I mean by that is that this experience seems to go to the boundaries of existence and encompass all that there is to be. We've had a couple of other Amanita reports in the past we'll be bringing up that relate with this one. Amanita tends to be somewhat unpredictable and can provide a variety of effects. This experience captures that. I'm sure everyone's going to like this one, so without further ado, let's dive right into this. Hi all you spirit seekers. I have read many reports about AM. Many of the people that have disconnected from reality on this mushroom have not remembered their total experience. For most people, I believe this to be a good thing because what I have seen on these mushrooms is not for the weak-minded. A friend of mine had come across some of these and invited me over. After arriving, I was in awe of the size and color, but thought that they must be alright. I proceeded to ingest one fat cap, about 7.5 to 8 grams. I waited around for about 30 minutes and started getting a strange rush, similar to a cubensis trip. I walked to another friend's house, which was about a half hour away. After sitting there for about a half hour, I felt I was beginning to plateau already and was going to get nothing more from it. I decided to eat a little more, another cap smaller than the last. About 10 minutes after this, I started to actually trip. My vision was blurred as though I was drunk and I felt a small tinge of the psychedelic mind. Some girl that was there ended up giving me and a friend of mine a ride back to my house. By this time, I felt very uneasy about how my trip was going to go. Reality seemed to be shifting into whole new dimensions. Lots of heat came from my body and I was drenched in sweat, but I just lay down to try to get the queasiness in my stomach to go away. After a while, my symptoms cleared a bit, so I decided to go into the other room with my sister. At this time, my vision of this world started to slip. I started to feel like I was being sucked into another world. I don't really know how to explain all that. Then there was a point of total darkness, but I was aware of everything. Time began to have no meaning, and seconds seemed like eons. For every second that passed, I experienced life through everyone's eyes. And I do mean everyone. It was as if I was stuck in that dream where you're falling and you know you're going to hit the ground, but you never do. You just wake up. But when I hit, I felt like I became one with God. I was God. I was God and I was looking in a mirror judging myself, my creation, the whole of existence. This was the end of time and I was sublimely happy with life and everything I had done. And as soon as I realized all of this, I got sucked back through time to the infinite source of life, the beginning of time. The key to life was sound, the word of God. Interestingly enough, it was the letter I though I think it was more the meaning than the actual sound. So I was bouncing through time from front to back, and each time it was different. But every time, there was a middle point, which was my physical death. There's so much more that I can't type here because there aren't words for it. But if you're thinking about doing these mushrooms, be warned as I found all these visions really terrifying. But after looking back, I'm really glad that I ended up doing it. Peace. Amanita Mascara, the infamous red and white mushroom. While pretty known in pop culture, it is a substance few actually decide to embark on. Now some of you may have no clue what Amanita is and may just assume that it's another psychedelic mushroom. While this is true to some degree on some levels, Amanita tends to stand pretty unique in its makeup and the effects it can provide. Now Amanita doesn't act like traditional psychedelics as the main active ingredients are ibotenic acid and mucimol. Instead, these compounds are more likely to provide sedative-like effects to possible delirium. 
A handful of receptors are impacted, specifically GABA receptors, which tend to be responsible for such effects. It is actually more comparable to something like Ambien, as this substance is known to have the ability to produce hallucinations. But even then, looking at this experience, the Amanita experience seems to stand alone. It can be powerful and even compared to the strongest of psychedelics. Salvia might even be a more appropriate comparison. But unlike most psychedelics, Amanita can present some dangers. The ibotenic acid can act as a neurotoxin. Because of this, it is recommended to use dry Amanita. There have been reports of overdoses that can lead to some pretty adverse effects and even possibly death. It is typically considered poisonous, and the risk of overdose increases when you combine it with other depressants. But let's bring up some past reports to compare to this one. The first report I want to bring up is Death Experience by Zabrina. Now in Zabrina's report, 28 grams was ingested. She barely got to help as she thought she was overdosing as the world started spinning. And that's what her experience turned into. Her whole existence became this spinning sensation that got faster and faster until she could make out it was the spinning of the universe. She noted that she was comprehending how everything was put together until she ended up in a void of nothingness. Then, she ended up in a tunnel returning back to the world. To say the least, I think the intensity matches that of what Worf Rat experienced here. And we see a similar experience in First I Met God, Then I Was God by Synthesis, where he took 28 grams. He mentions experiencing the creation and death of the universe multiple times over while somewhat being in a delirious state. He then comes to meet God, then become God, but wants it to stop, and then comes to think he's in hell. There is, too, a lot of religious references in this report, but again, the intensity and the universal theme are present here. The last report I want to bring up is Entheogenic Amanitas by Tengu Japan, where they actually consumed 8 grams of Amanita pantherina. Though a much lower dose compared to the others, this report details many sedative effects with things spinning faster and faster. They felt like they were stuck in an endless void as well, comparing it to hell. Time was gone, and the user felt as if they died. Pretty intense, to say the least. But we're going to end it there for today. If you guys want to see more on Amanita Mascara, or any substance at all, let me know in the comments below, and we'll get to it. If you guys did enjoy this report, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow the socials, it's been someone that's someone, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.